to another video from Creativo Solutions. You're watching the support videos for the British International Distance College whereby we're going to be going through different assignment questions in order to help you better understand how to answer them. Visit our website for more information and consider following or DMing us on Instagram should you wish to contact us Keep watching the YouTube channel for more support and if you like the channel please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. We're going to be focusing on mathematics and we're looking at assignment number two. So let's begin. When looking at the actual assignment, on page 55 of your assignment pack you will see question number one. Question number one says factorize completely. So we're looking at factorization. So remember, when focusing on factorization, we're looking at common factors and we're trying to take out numbers that are common to two different terms. So if I'm looking at number one, number one says p squared x minus 4 q squared x. And they're asking us to factorize. If I'm going to be factorizing this particular question, I need to look for common terms. So I'm looking at this term and I'm looking at that term and I'm trying to find an amount or a value or a number. It doesn't really matter what, but something that's common to both. It could be letters or numbers. I don't have any numbers in this term. I have P's and X's. Here I've got a, a number 4. I've got Q's and X's. So I can see that the X's are common. So I'm going to take out a common factor of X. Then what's left would be P squared minus 4Q squared. That's what's left over. Because if I had to distribute the X into the P squared and the X into the minus 4Q squared, I'm going to get the same expression as I had there at the top. So now what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to look at this. I can see we've got two squares and four is a squared number. Two squared would be four and there's a minus there. So that would be a difference of two squares. So I'm going to factorize that. I'm then going to have X brackets P minus two Q and P plus two Q. And that would be factorizing that particular expression. So because you had squares here and you had two terms and it's a difference of two squares, I can then write out an expanded form of that particular expression with two factors. So P minus 2Q and P plus 2Q. Because if I to multiply the P's out, I'm going to get P squared. If I multiply P with the plus 2Q, that gives me 2PQ. And then I've got a minus 2 pq here so that eliminates and then i'm going to multiply the last two terms minus times a, min a minus times a positive is a negative 2 times 2 is 4 and q times q is q squared so this would be the factorized answer that they're requiring here which they said factorize completely that ends this question i hope you found that useful Please consider subscribing and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and we'll keep creating more to help you.